he will be remembered as a creator of films. Mr. Orson Welles. My father once told me that the art of receiving a compliment is of all things the sign of a civilized man. And he died soon afterwards, leaving my education in this important matter sadly incomplete. I'm only glad <laughs> that on this, the occasion of the rarest compliment he ever could have dreamed of, that he isn't here to see his son so publicly at a loss. In receiving a compliment, or trying to, the words are all worn out by now. They're polluted by ham and corn. And when you try to scratch around for some new ones, it's just an exercise in empty cleverness. What I feel this evening is not very clever. It's the very opposite of emptiness. The corny old phrase is the only one I know to say it. My heart is full. With a full heart, with all of it, I thank you. <laughs> this is Samuel Johnson on the subject of what he calls contrarities. There are goods so opposed that we cannot seize both and in trying fail to seize either. Flatter not yourself, he says, with contrarities. Of the blessings set before you, make your choice. No man can at the same time fill his cup from the source and from the mouth of the Nile. Well, this business of contrarities has to do with us, with you who are paying me this compliment, and with me who have strayed so far from this hometown of ours. Not that I'm alone in this or unique. I am never that. But there are a few of us left in this conglomerated world of ours who still trudge stubbornly along a lonely, rocky road and this is, in fact, our contrariety. We don't move nearly as fast as our cousins on the freeway. We don't even get as much accomplished, just as the family-sized farm can't possibly raise as many crops or get as much profit as the agricultural factory of today. What we do come up with has no special right to call itself better. It's just different. Now, if there's any excuse for us at all, it's that we're simply following the old American tradition of the maverick. And we are a vanishing breed. This honor I can only accept in the name of all the mavericks. And also, And also, as a tribute to the generosity of all the rest of you, to the givers, to the ones with fixed addresses. <laughs> a maverick may go his own way, but he doesn't think that it's the only way or ever claim that it's the best one, except maybe for himself. And don't imagine that this raggle-taggle gypsio is claiming to be free. It's just that some of the necessities to which I am a slave are different from yours. As a director, for instance, I pay myself out of my acting jobs. I use my own work to subsidize my work. In other words, I'm crazy. <laughs> but not crazy enough to pretend to be free. But it's a fact that many of the films you've seen tonight could never have been made otherwise. 
or if otherwise, well, they might have been better, but certainly they wouldn't have been mine. The truth is, I don't believe that this great evening would ever have brightened my life if it weren't for this, my own particular contrariety. Let us, let us raise our cups then, standing as some of us do on opposite ends of the river and drink together to what really matters to us all, to our crazy and beloved profession, to the movies, to good movies, to every possible kind.